Welcome to the homework for lesson 21. This is module four, first grade. And we're redrawing and writing, solving some word problems with tape diagrams. Labeling the tape diagrams is really, is really the important part. And uh, maybe we'll work on circling our answer too. Or boxing our answer, however you want to do it. Uh, Fatima has 12 colored pencils in her bag. She has six regular pencils, two. How many pencils does Fatima have? So she has some of them are colored and some of them are regular, and we have to find out how much all of them are together. So that's uh, put together. So I'm going to draw the 12 she has in her bag. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. These are the... 12 in her bag and she has six regular pencils too that's one two one two three four five six six more and those are regular pencils are or we could call them colored pencils and regular pencils how about that uh, how many pencils does she have we need to find out this whole thing, the 12 and the 6 more. Well, you can see the ones I shaded in. It's 6, 7, 8, and this, so it's 10 and 8, it's 18. And our equation is going to be the 12 colored pencils plus the 6 regular pencils equals 18 pencils. Julio swam seven laps in the morning. In the afternoon, he swam some more laps. He swam a total of 14 laps. How many laps did he swim in the afternoon? So we know how many he swam. And so Julio's are the star of our story. He, he swims laps in the morning and he swims laps in the afternoon. We know how many he swam in the morning, but we don't know the afternoon ones. But we do know his whole his total for the day. So we can start with the seven start with what we know. He swam seven in the morning. I'm gonna draw those. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And I can make a piece of tape, call it seven, and label it M for morning laps. In the afternoon he he swam some more. I don't know how many to draw. But I know the total is 14, so if this is 7, I need to draw 1, that would be 8 now, right? 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, now I know I have a total of 14. And I can just count how many of these are. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, there's 7 there. I know the total, so these are the afternoon laps, and that's a total of 14. If you know your doubles, it's 14, which we already knew because it told us 14. Um, now, this was a, a um, we knew about the 7, and we added 7 more, and we knew the total was 14. Now, this is what we were trying to find out, how much to add. So you can either circle or box that number to show that that's what we were trying to figure out. Uh, Julio swam 7 laps in the afternoon. It also helps you remember whether you should write down a 7 or a 14 here for your, for your statement. Because it helps you to keep track of what you need. Peter built 18 models. He built 13 airplanes and some cars. How many car models did he build? All right, so he built 18, but he didn't build any more. Some of them were airplanes and some of them were cars. We know how many are airplanes, but we know there's going to be 18. So we can just draw all 18 to begin with. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. And now I just, the empty circles, I just draw, whenever I'm drawing a bunch of them, the first 10 I'm going to have empty, and then any ones that come after that I'm going to fill them in. It just helps me to see them so it makes it easier to count. All right, now a piece of tape for this whole thing. Now 13 of these are airplanes. 
So that's 10. See why I have that? I know where the 10 ends right there. That's the 10th one. 11, 12, 13. And I can see right here is where I'm going to put my line to say that I know that these are the 13. And they're A for airplanes and the rest are cars. And now I can just count how many cars are there. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So he's going to need 5 car models. 5 car models he built. And the whole thing we know from end to end is 18. So this is a take apart because we had a total of 18 and we knew one of the parts. We had to find the other one. We knew the 18. We subtracted 13. And our difference was 5. You can box or circle it. He built 5 car models. Kiana found some shells at the beach. She gave eight shells to her brother. Now she has nine shells left. How many shells did Kiana find at the beach? Okay, so she found shells at the beach. We don't know how many that is. We know that she gave eight to her brother and that she had nine left. So we know that those are the parts and we know, but we don't know how many, we don't know what the whole is. So let's draw the parts and then count count them to find out the whole. So there's eight that she gave to her brother. Oops. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So these are the ones she, these are eight that she gave to her brother. And then she has nine left. And I'm going to draw these filled in just so they look different. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Put them on a piece of tape. Those are nine, and those are how many she has left. Uh, how many shells did she find at the beach? I can see that there is eight needs two more to be a ten, right? So I could have done this. I could have been thinking about that and made these empty circles to finish that ten. There. So I could say that uh, that's 10, and then there's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 17. Or you can just count them. But the idea is really that we have the 8 plus the 9, and what we had to figure out was the 17. Kiana found 17 shells.